Morning, how are you? It's the deadline, so of course I've waited till today to do them, but uh, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. I should probably have somebody do it for me, but. Here's my, here's my really quick question for you, which actually your name came up on my list today, not for so much for this transaction, but you let me know if I can help you with this. My, your name came up because I'm filling out the 1099s for, next, for last year, and I swear you did a deal, but I don't see it here on the list. Uh, so that was late 2018, okay, just making sure. Damn it, yeah, you gotta make up for it. Come on, hurry up. So this one, you're getting at a, at a, at a Taunton. Once again, Taunton, Taunton's a lot of the good value in Taunton. Taunton, especially, it's, people are starting to look around, so I can't invest in Boston anymore. And they're looking at these, looking at these smaller, you know, orbital cities like Taunton. Lowell, uh, you know, also it's a places like that, and people are like, "Wow, I can I can invest here," and the cap the cap the cap rates are so much better, and it's making making more sense to invest in these suburban locations that are still kind of urban, these small cities, still a lot still value there, and uh, everybody that's buying over there in Cambridge and Somerville, if you're financed, forget about it. You're not going to win any of those bids because everyone's been buying cash. Let me know if I can help. Talk to you later. Bye bye. What a great guy he is. I, I love. He, I like doing business. With, he's great. So today, today is January thirty first, and it's the deadline to send out. You got it. The dreaded ten ninety nine. So I do this myself because I'm a small business owner. Oh shit! I just ripped that one. And uh, so first off, I had to go to Staples and buy the special form. Fucking staple. And forty seven dollars and seventy eight cents. For these special forms. Now I get it. Uh, if they don't sell them by like today, then they're kind of worthless. So I understand why they're more expensive. I bought three packages, figuring I, I just wanted extras. So I'll probably just return. But um, what I don't use, hopefully, <laughs> I got the special envelopes. Yeah. So I'll be all in compliance. But now I've got to like figure out all the agencies I've got to send them to. And all the agents, I've got to send them in. And then I got to fill them out, which is a pain in the ass. So yeah, next year I should probably think about having this automated. So, um, live and learn, but it does suck. Now it was in the office yesterday, I got the mail. I've only gotten two of these from other agencies. So I don't feel that bad that, um, well, that I'm kind of waiting to the last minute. I got this one, I won't, I won't show you the agency, but, uh, well, they didn't do it in the official envelope, which actually I got to admit in prior years, neither did I, but um, <laughs> they, they hand addressed, excuse me, no, they typed with like a typewriter, like a IBM Selectric, uh, the envelope. You don't, you don't see too many envelopes that are typed. Some people, some of you might not even know what an IBM Selectric is, but that is a typewriter that uh, addressed the envelope. That's old school, big time. So it's like from the 70s. I bought the wrong forms. All right, so the one you send to the recipient, that I can just print out, no problem. But the ones you're gonna send to the IRS, those are, oh, those, those are the scannable red ones and uh, I don't have any. So uh, I guess I'm gonna have to go back to Staples or or just send in non-scannable red ones. Uh, probably not gonna be too happy. The IRS won't be too happy with me. But um, yeah, so that's where we are right now. Probably gotta go to uh, Staples and buy some red forms. And um, probably not gonna be the first, they're probably gonna be sold out, I'm guessing, so. All right, I'm, uh, I'm out of ink for the printer. And I'm um, basically out of paper too, so. Beth is gonna go out and fix it for me. Thank you, Beth. And when she comes back, I'll have all the information, then I'll just fill out the forms, and I'll be done. Good, hey, I just wanted to follow up with the Sagmore Beach office space. So um, the check was received from Maine, that's great. Uh, yesterday I sent the lease out for Bruce to sign by e-signature, and that went out about noon or something yesterday, and uh, I think that's the only thing we're missing. Yeah, shake the tree with him and that'd be great. Thank you. All right, she returned. And yeah, here's a big, 
haul video here. C uh, Staples haul video for your small business person. Uh, I got the right forms, thankfully. A new thing of paper and a uh, new new printer cartridge. So it's, it's one o'clock, still got time. Yeah, not long after you call, uh, or after we spoke. Yep, all set, lease is done. All right, thank you, Joe, congratulations. Good luck with the space, bye-bye. Another happy customer. So he just rented some space, and uh, it actually took over my old real estate school down in Sagamore Beach, uh, which uh, has been empty since I moved to the completely online model. And uh, then he just gave me another referral. So, um, not bad. And they'll be able to move in probably as soon as tomorrow. Uh, I think they have Comcast coming Monday. So, hey, I'm gonna get back to these tax forms. So I did it. I got, I got all the paperwork done. Just gonna put them in envelopes, ship them out. I am missing one small piece of paper or uh, no information, which uh, worst case I could always send later, but uh, pretty much done and edited yesterday's video, which is great, and also got the purchase and sale done for the condo in Natick, so that's done. The lease is done, everything's done. Uh, Caroline's game is tonight. I'm gonna hit the gym, send this stuff out, and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.